Ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, water map. That's interesting. A water map we have here. The seed I have chosen is a unique one. I actually have never played on a nomad quite like this. And this is the Conquer Edition. We took some of the finest Twitch chat Conquer gamers. All these guys are Conquer. We have three Conquer 3s, I think three Conquer 2s, and two Conquer 1s. With that being said, they're all different sieves because they're chads and they know how to play all the sieves. But I know what you guys want. You want to see the map. You think it's a water map. But it is not a water map. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's something. It's something. And if you look, these things, they're not forests. They are rocks. There are rocks everywhere. Rocks, 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 rocks. More rocks, 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 rocks. Now there is deep water fish, but it's one fish per lake. Now, when, when we make these, again, these players do not know what kind of map it is. They got no clue what's happening. So they don't know what sieve they should pick, if it's a good map for their sieve. But obviously, picking something like Abbasid here would be pretty nice. And we got three sets of players spawning next to each other. Let's introduce the tents. Over here, we got who? The Blue French. Uh, just under. They don't know, but they're gonna know. Flotter Otto. The teal English. Now, this is French versus English. And this might be the first time where French did not get the best spawn in the game. And if you look, you can wall these off all very easily. I mean, maybe not between them, but you like if English wants to attack blue, he would need to go all the way around to reach the goal to reach something else. It's quite a weird map. Over here, GT spawning as the Orange Holy Roman Empire. And he is already on a dock as well. So he found the water. He knows what's up. And he's got two deep water here, actually, getting the value. On the bottom, we got Casper AoE, the yellow Chinese. Now, not everyone... Let me check his vision. Not everyone's going to know that there's water. Okay, he saw the water. But he... I don't know if he saw deep water. No, he saw deep water as well. So he's going to be scouting. He made a scout already. Over here, we got Fire Hick, the Red Deli. Oh, no. Wait, he made a dock on, like, the one pond that doesn't have deep water fish. <laughs> I mean, there's still some fish, but, uh, that's sad. And on the top, we got, uh, Pink Up Acid, Rental Beast, 8160. And we, next to him, we got Kanki, the Green Mongol. And last but not least, we got Dennis, who has played before the Purple Roos in a pretty sick spawn. I mean, he's all alone. Orange and Roos probably the best spawns. Uh, now, I will say the roughest spawn is probably French here because there's a big wall behind him, right? Like, yellow here is next to red, but he can just move downwards. Like, he can just kind of expand downwards, but... And red as well, like he can expand towards the top a little yeah. bit. Now, I'm assuming, like a lot of the, the games that we have seen. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Kanki is wild. What the fuck is that? He went. Wait, he went for Insta Stable and Double Scout. Huh? Okay. Uh. <clears throat> that was not that was not good. Next one will be better, I promise. But that's interesting. Double I thought he might have gone for horseman. But he went for double scout, I guess wants to figure out where everyone is. And he's not gonna go for water, by the way. Which he definitely could. Uh but chooses not to. Abbasid got a pretty I mean, the funny thing is, this this is what I like about this map. If Mongol were to attack Abbasid, he can't attack through the front because TC is covering it. If he attacks here, a small wall will prevent any attacks. The next point of attack 
this is walled would be all the way around to reach his base so this map i i warned the players by the way i said this seed is mold inducing now they might have seen the map already or you know they might have seen the map as they're playing and they're like what's mold inducing about this well once they start attacking they're gonna realize what's mold inducing because once they start attacking and realize how hard it is to get around and attack people and go around these lakes they'll know i mean pretty much everyone is going for docks right french is going for docks yo there's some action happening here french wanted to tower the english gold okay calm down brother calm down and uh yeah oh, 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 oh. Lol, that TC were shooting two different scouts. Wait, there's three different scouts here <laughs> from the enemies. China also on the water. I think everyone is, right? And Rus could do another fishing ship here, by the way. If you don't know, one Rus fishing ship is uh, enough for one deep water fish. It's going to slowly deplete, but if you build too many, it's going to deplete too quickly. But he could place another one for, for this. I think everyone except Mongol is going for water, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And now, Kanki is on 8 on wood. Now, I don't know if that's for dog or what's happening, but he's gathering a lot of wood. And he still doesn't have Ubu, right? Yeah, he's just scouting with two scouts and Khan. But he doesn't have Ubu. Oh god, I just realized he has no gold nearby. Now, he did mine this gold earlier. I love Gur. the FFA content. And now he's gonna go for stone, okay. Alright, Britter. Council Hall coming up. Um, I don't think he even needed this tower. I mean, maybe for stone here, so he can get stone. But I guess that's fine, yeah. If he puts mining camp here, upgrades this, he'll be, he'll be fine. Now, if French identifies what I was talking about earlier, if he just walls like here, then English literally cannot attack him. He would need to go all the way around, and then you can just do a wall here, wall there, and you're safe. But there's also a problem of space on this map. Unless you've spawned somewhere in open, like red or yellow or, or orange, you're not going to have a lot of space to work with. Rus is building docks everywhere. I like that. He's just growing his economy. And Flotter Otto is the first player to reach feudal. And this is an interesting twist right now. I just realized actually. English has no wood. English is going to go on the same wood line as French. And he's going to immediately go for the pressure. He's going to wall here it seems. Oh, maybe not. He's going to go around. But even if he goes around, like, what are you going to harass? With these mountains. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess we will find out. Mm -hmm. And now, our Mongol gamer. Wait, what? What is he doing? He went for wheelbarrow now? Huh? Okay, he's dead. Uh. Okay, he went for wheelbarrow, and now he has no gold to age up, and now he's putting nine on gold. <clears throat> All right. Trade markets. There's one here. It's a water trade market. And I'm not, there's one here. And that's all. Uh, there's two here, actually. So there are some more. There's four markets, at least, that I saw. On this side, we got Barbecue Rush on the deli. Unsuccessful, because that does not reach right there. So that's a little bit unfortunate. 
And we do see Kanki now. What is he doing, man? I'm so confused. Wait, he ran out of sheep. Oh my god, man. This is a disaster. He ran out of sheep. We do see Kremlin over here from Dennis. Uh, and Kanki lost a scout here, it seems, because there's green sheep. On the bottom side, double tower from. What I just put. There we go. Double tower. For French, she's going for knights. English is massing an army, and these two are gonna dent at each other for sure. Delhi got so many docks, by the way. He's got a dock there, dock there, dock there, dock there, so his eco is gonna be really, really good. China only on two docks, so not a lot to work with. And. Wait. I just realized what he's doing. I don't... I'm so confused. I know what he's doing. Am I blind? He's not aging up. He's got nine on gold. Is he gonna mask out age one and try to snipe the guy next to him? He has no food though. Like he has no food. He's about to run out of food completely. Like, why is he still mining gold? He's getting improved wheelbarrow now. What? Orange is aging up the castle. Like, I just... I, this is not gonna work, by the way. I don't know... I don't know if he's, like, trolling on purpose or what. I don't know. I think he's just trolling, to be honest. Like, there's no way... That this guy's conquer and he's doing this right. like if he was gathering food the whole time sure but he's literally out of food like he's not even producing also why is he still gathering gold that's another thing that i don't quite that i don't quite get anyway china second t third tc okay three tc china hre already castle gonna get some relics uh, English and French kind of splitting this wood line, although he, he got another wood line, so he's chilling. Um, on the top side, we got Roos with some knights. He's aged up. Not sure what his plan is. Well, he's got a shit ton of wood. He's putting a lot of gold, so yeah, so he's going to be aging up in a second as well. He's making walls everywhere. He's chilling. And uh, Abbasid is already in castle, by the way. Abbasid went with, um, I think, I think culture wing into military. Yeah, military wing second. Abbasid is now building up. No second TC for him. Delhi getting the sacred site. Where are the sacred sites, by the way? One, two, and three. So kind of on the middle ish. China is on three TC. Holy. HRE is now gonna mass knights. Three relics already secured. These two dents. Damn, there's a war cog right here. Yep, cog. Deer stones is now coming. Yeah, I don't. Red about to get rammed. I propose perma ban for green. Uh, I mean, there's no way he's like playing seriously, right? He is for sure just trolling. He's in dark age still. Good stuff. 
Rams over here taking care of the Barbican. Purple has walled off and he's now chilling. <laughs> These guys are having a tower standoff. Um, and now, oh, French has a, oh yeah, he has a wood line here, so he can kind of escape from that side. And he's gonna try to make a keep. Okay, wait, that's in range of, that's in range of the tower, but not the TC. He's in range of both towers, actually. He's gonna dive in to maybe protect his, uh, protect his keep from being built on this side. The Barbican goes down, but this is gonna be a rough one. A lot of men at arms for Delhi. Six state supply, but China is on three TC, pumping Zugini right now. And uh, Delhi has plus one armor, so that's good. Has plus one armor, but he's gonna need a lot of men at arms to be able to deal with this. A lot. Green is running away. I don't even. I don't even. Uh... <clears throat> Green's running away, and the men at arms are coming in. Now, they're going to be super tanky, but he needs way more men at arms to deal with this. Way, way more. Let's try burn the rams down. Mm -hmm. Burn him down, brother. On <laughs> Teal has a wall here. That's a, and, and four inches of wall behind it. I think Delhi will be okay. Like, he's not going to die. I don't know how long term this is going to be for Delhi. But I think Delhi doesn't die here. The men at arms are gonna good, do a good job tanking. These Zuginu are still futile, by the way. He's aging up now, but Delhi's gonna be alright for now. Green's in the middle. Red got two sacred sides, so that's gonna be a nice gold income. And Abbasid is now gonna add second TC. He's gonna boom from there. We got high trade house over here, so purple is still chilling. Now, usually players who have like the most time to chill don't actually end up winning. I don't know how, but most of these FFAs that we see, the guy who's actually alone ends up losing. Forever alone. De oh, oh, oh. Get that. Oh, and now up acid. Look at that. He's gonna kill the Delhi Dock. Oh no. Oh no, run, brother. I was gonna say, but he looks like he's attacking yellow. But uh, he might be losing all these villagers if he's not moving super quickly. The keep finishes on this side. And these, these guys are having a proper dent off, by the way. Oh, he went to Royal Institute? Oh no. No guild hall? That is, uh... Mm -mm, no, no, no. He needs to run. You gotta run, brother. You gotta run. You gotta run. Like, he's killing some villagers from yellow, but again, yellow is on 3TC China. Now, he does have idols, and he might not even be... He's kind of producing for now, but he's got 3k wood almost. He should probably try to spend that. And here we go. Poor Delhi getting bullied. By the way, Fire Hick was the first pick, uh, Civ pick in this FA, and he picked Delhi like a Chad. But not working out right now. Not working out. People are saying that uh, earlier that Green plays like this, he tries to landmark snipe. Okay, well, uh, I mean, we'll see, I guess, right? We're gonna see how the landmark sniping is going. He's making towers, he's gathering gold, he's truly playing Mongol Nomad. And this look- oh! Springle goes down, and this looks like a, like a destruction. He walls off, but does it even matter? Trebbing is happening. White Tower, trebbing on both sides. These guys are, are something. Now, English is definitely in a better position. Like, English has 2 TC, and he can expand this way. Like, he has space to work with. Blue is kind of stuck, right? Like, he can chop through here and move on this side, but there's not a lot of wood on this map, if you, if you notice. There's not too much wood to work with. 
And now yellow is arriving. He's got a trap. He's got upgraded units. Vololo. 2TC. And, uh... Yeah, stone walls. Okay. And HRE is moving in. With a lot of knights. Where is he gonna go? He's already Imperial, by the way. He's been chilling. Rental Beast. Been chilling. Keep goes down. And English TC... I was gonna say about to go down, but then he started... He stopped attacking it. Mongol Archer range is here. Okay. That's... That's cute. Yo, that mango is doing work. You see that? Do it again. Dentoff continues. Can they see the score in the game? Yes, so I enabled it so the players can see the score in the game. So they know who is strong and who is dying. Now, French is gonna move in, but that is not a lot of units, brother. That is not, especially not under uh, White Tower. That is not going to be close to enough. The trapping continues. Now yellow pushes back the pink. Dali survives with the landmark here. But how long is he going to actually survive? Imperial Palace coming in for China. So he's going to go to... Uh, uh, what is the dynasty called? You want dynasty? Before getting Imperial. These guys, are, I'm, I'm surprised that they're both not committing to Siege. Because this is the kind of position where units won't do too much. You are going to need like Siege to break this. Like Springor, Springholds and Mangonels and stuff. And he does have a Mango actually. So he will be able to push him back a bit. TC goes down, which means the villager production for French is gone in the shitter. Down in the shitter. Gone in the shitter? Both. And Delhi. Delhi has had two sacred sites the whole time, by the way. So he's getting a good amount of gold. But. Fire Hick is dead. He tried and he tapped out. And Fire Hick was actually the lowest rated gamer in the lobby. Just like that. I mean, he got banged by two players. And also, out of all the civs to spawn next to, Delhi probably worst spawn is against China and English. Now, these two guys are still going for it. If I'm French, bro, just snipe the landmarks. All three landmarks are right here. I don't know why he does it. What is his resource count? Like, I would just make like five traps and just fucking kill his landmarks. That's it. Tap him out. Now, Rus is coming in. And these are elite gamer knights. Mongol ages up to castle. But. Elite gamer knights are coming. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to. He's gonna kill one of them. Now, yellow is in a pretty good spot, by the way. Because yellow just freed up so much of his personal space. He can go for a lot of uh, different things. He can wall off map more. You know, get more area. He's got a lot of beautiful yellow farms. Mongol is running. Somewhere. Running with deer stones. And, uh... Yeah. This fight, that's a lot of men at arms. They. Oh my god, English has no upgrades. Wait, does he? No, he does. Huh? Oh, he didn't get the armor chat upgrade. That's why. So these men at arms are not as tanky as they could be, but English is plowing through. He's got a lot, a lot, enough crossbows, he's got some spearmen, some men at arms. And if French is not going to die to English, he is definitely going to die to HRE right now. 
even if he somehow holds this, he is definitely dying right after. Mm -hmm. HRE is Imperial. If you look at the score, 8.4k and Rusa's 8.2k. How many villagers is Rusa? 89. So not a lot actually. Yo. And who? Who surrendered? Mm -hmm. HRE is probably like, damn, that was easy. I just killed a wall and the guy surrenders? That's crazy. Damn. He's like, damn, I'm pretty good. I just I just not tapped this guy a little bit and he tapped out. Alright. Easy clap, I guess. Who gg That's what I'm talking about. By the way, this map is one of the very few maps in Mega Randoms that does not have a shit ton of resources in the middle. Uh, the resources are actually pretty well spread out. And what is this? There's a... There's a never seen that. Um, they're pretty spread out. And usually in the middle you see like 10 big goals or something, but... Not today. Mongol is now ran away here with his 44 supply and 2.2k uh, 2 .2 K food and 4,500 gold. He's running on this side. He's made a transport ship. Okay. And he is producing scouts. Now guys, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think green's gonna win. I don't know what this strategy was, but I can tell you it's not working uh, very well. Orange is probably on like... He's five, that's five, at least five relics. And Imperial Knights are running through. Now English did kill uh, Blue, but he is castle and he's playing against Imperial. Luckily, the guy he was fighting also went knights, so he should have well, only 12 crossbows. Actually, I was gonna say he should have a lot of units anti knight, but it's a lot of men at arms and only 12 crossbows, and that's a big army. So I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to fight that. He's coming in. He's denting in the. Uh, the oh God. That might be a destruction. I, I was I was wondering if he can survive this, but I can tell you he's not gonna survive that. That that's not gonna happen. If he gets like Berkshire right now, okay, he's not. Okay, he's not. He's not getting Berkshire anytime soon. Roos is on this side, and Roos sees the green TCs. He's gonna go for the TCs. And green got one landmark left. He might face elimination very soon. And that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be hard to deal with. Now he does have 21 crossbows. That's a good amount of crossbows. If he can actually tank these men arms a little bit, he might be able to dent some units down. But I think that's just way too many imperial units. And he's got plus three range armor, by the way. So. That's gonna be a rough one. And HRE is already like fully styled Lula. I mean, that's disgusting. He's got so many units. He's got the Imperial upgrades and he's just gonna rally units and dent them in. Unlucky, brother. The TC gets around it. The TC is gonna go down and that is the landmark town center. And, uh... Okay, Green is gonna age up the Imperial. I'm assuming his plan is gonna be to age up to Imperial and build the um, get the upgrade for torch damage. But I don't know how that's gonna work. I guess we'll see. We're gonna see. On an anonymous gifter with the 10 gifted sub. Thank, thank, thank you, anonymous. Appreciate it. 
appreciate and flutter auto taps out for you ggs to him he fought the french for a very long time and in the end it doesn't even matter yo don't pull those don't pull those to your base you're gonna get dented in thank you so much on an anonymous gifter and uh welcome everyone that just joined in mm -hmm. Now, we got five remaining. Well, 4.1 remaining. We got orange. We got yellow, who is China. Let's check their resources. So, Dennis, he's got... He's actually... That, I'm like 124. Okay, he's got a decent amount of workers now. He's got a lot of fishing going on with, like, one fish, one boat per thing. He is now trading. How much is he getting? 77. 675 bounty. Oh, God. A rental beast. Uh, 105 workers. So not too many, but he is slowly stacking. And he does not... That's not a wall. That is not a wall. Court architects. I thought he was going to get this, to be honest. I guess not. And uh, Abbasid is going to have to go back and defend this. He did wall here a little bit. Not not here, but he did wall somewhat, kind of. And he's got a big army, and he's definitely going to be able to defend this easily. But his landmarks are kind of exposed. Like, there's nothing here. You know what I mean? It's just like a wall. That's not even a wall, but even if it was a wall, you can get landmark sniped quite easily. Now, HRE doesn't also have a lot of farms. Like, that's a decent amount, but nothing, like, you can't really print, print units, you know? The DC is gonna go down, but... I mean, the camels are gonna arrive. He should try to wall this in, so he loses, so the Rus loses all the knights. And, uh... We got three trebs pumping on this side. More production coming in for Zumbi. Let's do this. Fuck. My thing is not working. Oh, that's working, but this isn't. Team B too, so. Cannot work. Shout out to uh, speaker gamers out there. The, the, the thing didn't work, and then I clicked the Abbasid scream, and that worked immediately. Like, okay, dude. Okay, brother. Yo, surround him, surround him! Yo, the axes look so cool for the roost knights. More units are coming through. He's gonna need to wall that, wall that thing in. Let's check yellow resources. Yo, he is stacking right now. He's got 30,000 food already? Jesus Christ. He he moved away from the food here. That's how much food he's got. He's like, yeah, that's... Is he moving? Yeah, he's moving more villagers. To different areas. He didn't take the relic, by the way. Didn't repair the barbican. I'm trying to keep track of stuff. But the fact that this map is so bright, it makes it hard to actually notice stuff. Or maybe I'm just blind. Both things can be true. Markets over here. We got gold mining over here. And is Ab Acid now gonna turn to purple? I think Ab Abbasid's army was like here. I think it was gonna attack yellow. But... Oh, this is not walled. I don't know if he realizes. He was gonna attack yellow, but now that purple attacked him, I think he's just gonna turn and beat his ass. Yellow is now in the middle. Does yellow see this? Purple's still making docks, by the way. I mean, at this point, just... At this point, just make a fucking... Just make farms, bro. What is this? Archer ranges? Okay. And uh, we are going to see a little clash over here. Rams are coming out. And these are Rus Rams, by the way. 
So they're juiced up with an extra upgrade to make them even better than they already are. The gate goes down. I think it's just gonna try to landmark something. Eventually. Eventually. Dude, China is gonna go for wonder first. I'm calling it. GT? Almost at enough resources for wonder, by the way. Where's the... I need to find the market. He's making more production. This is the vision. Let's check the vision of the players. That's Flutter Auto. His map is invisible or, you know, dark because he's dead. The TC goes down. Dennis sees decent amount, but not too much. And now he's getting pushed back. And, uh, well, he can't keep making knights. He needs Strelzi. Yeah, he's making Strelzi. He can't keep making knights against camels. Um, Casper. Okay, has some vision. Should definitely get the bottom side of the map, like just quick wall here, maybe or something. But he doesn't have control of the middle. The troll got nothing. I mean, he he's got forty nine supply. Listen, all right. Anyway, um, yeah, he's got the best vision. That, I mean, it is impressive considering he's got 30 supply, you know. And now Rus, dude, Rus is definitely, definitely looking to snack that landmark with 12. Wait, how many rams? 14, 15 rams. He's definitely looking to snack that house of wisdom, but not today, brother. Oh no. Yo, he runs away with the transport ship. But for how long? He's got a landmark right here, hidden. <clears throat> anyway. On the bottom side, yellow. They're all just kind of chilling. I think they're all looking at the odds of like, what's the chance of me going wonder? And none of them looking to attack. By the way, this is gigantic. If anyone wants the, the seed, here's the seed. You got to put gigantic Sahara Desert. There you go. Make it random. And I think gigantic maps for free for alls are too big. We've seen like insane increase of average game time in the FFAs since we've done these random seeds because most of the maps that I found with these random seeds are on gigantic maps. I heard a hiccup. Uh oh, uh oh! Jimbi, Yo, you got busted, brother. And this is his last landmark. Uh oh. Green's not moving for uh, orange. He is not moving. Anonymous with another gifted sub. I don't know who you are. I don't know what your name is. I don't know where you come from. But I will find you. And thank you for all the gifted subs. Mm -hmm. It's me? Okay. The white stupa running away and a tree missed. Oh my god! Your destruction, destruction, destruction! It's. And now we see China pushing into Holy Roman Empire. Villagers are step stuck over here. There's a big stone right there he could snack on. And Rus is running out of resources, by the way. He's making more production? Bro, you got no resources. Like. Like. 
He's making so how many production buildings did he just make? Twenty-one stables and seven archery. Like you, you don't have for like ten. Especially because he's producing knights and strelzi. Let's check. Yeah. Oh my god. See, that's a destruction of resources. That is a destruction. Pink. Seventy on food. Jesus. Okay, that's that's a lot on food. He is fooding. For sure. He never walled this, by the way. This is still not a wall. He's gonna push the top side and HRE. Okay, HRE is stacked on resources right now. HRE needs to get some more stone and then throw down a wonder. Orange is snacking Green's villagers. He sure is. He sure is, brother. And, uh,. He always making scouts. Nine villagers, let's go. Yo, he's gonna guys, he's gonna come back soon. Guys, he's gonna come back soon. For sure. Mm-hmm. Give him two minutes. I'll give him two hours. Little idle villagers right here. Guys. Wait, does he have the siege upgrade? 5.2 attack speed. Now, if he had... By the way, this is kind of far, to be honest. This is kind of far from House of Wisdom. But if he had... Oh god, he's gonna upgrade it too. Now he's got 5,000 more health. If... Oh, no. Dude, this one archer has been making rams the whole time. And I think that Avacid was about to make a market there. Kick W. Oh, no. Oh, no, bro. That's unlucky. On this side, we do see yellow and orange fighting. And uh, I don't think this is gonna go too well for yellow right now. I mean, these are kind of like the units he's had for a while. Like, he's still got feudal Zuginu, by the way. So, oh, now we see Fire Lancers coming. A lot of workers. Guys, is, is green a troll or, or or like what's up? He actually plays like this? Like what? Building ten rams with one archers? With one archer? On a fucking dark age at 44 minutes? that huh <laughs> if he plays like that put him in gold free throws I didn't say that I'm just I'm just saying I'm just reading the chat I mean, all right. <clears throat> all right. Let's just say whatever he's doing is not working. Yo, Abbasid, where are your units? Bro, what the f you you gotta delete, dude? I wasn't paying attention to this because I'm like, oh, he has no rams. Like, purple's got no rams. Like, he's not gonna kill this. But bro, you gotta delete your units. And he's not deleting them, he's like running them home. Just delete them! Uh, dude, if you had like three rams here, Abbasid is dead. Like dead AF. 
He's just gonna run all the way home, and he's still got units here that he is not paying attention. Oh god! Oh no! Dude, the the fucking the building is falling apart. The fucking look at that paint job. Oh my god! There's fucking holes in the wings, and he just gives up. Green in top three. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. I think uh, for this week's of FFAs, I think the Platinum Gamers take the dub. They've been pumping the hardest. They have been pumping the hardest. But to be honest, maybe it's these like weird seeds or nomads throwing people off a little bit, you know? I do think that nomad compared to normal gameplay is a little bit different, you know? You do have to adjust uh, a lot more than you have to do in normal games. But luckily, the next ones that we're doing are gonna be Oasis with normal spawn. So we'll see how that one goes. And yellow's taking some damage, and now, yo, watch out. <gasps> Dude, he is stuck? No way. He is stuck from the Abbasid units. That's not enough Fire Lancers, that's only 51. If this was like 100 Fire Lancers, that's GG for purple, I think. And this might be GG for purple. Oh no, not again. Wait. Purple just killed the guy because the guy's units were in the middle of the map. And Purple might lose now the same way that he just eliminated one other guy. Landmark number one goes down. I don't think this is enough, though. He already lost 10. No, this is not going to work. Well, if he had 100, Purple's dead, for sure. For sure. Because he has no stone walls, by the way. He went with high armor. He is, he is plowing through, but more fire... Wait a minute. More fire lancers are coming. No repairs. And that might not even go down, actually. That might not even go down. Orange looks like he's prepping for wonder, or at least he's walling off the whole map. The thing is, now purple knows, right? Oh, damn. Orange is coming. Look, purple knows now that... Oh, he's gonna try to, like, landmark snipe me. So he might pay more attention. The trade is getting destroyed, and suddenly purple's getting dented by two players. Hold on, he's not gonna die anytime soon. Next wave. Now, this is the Fire Lancer number I'm talking about. And also, kill these crossbows. He should... Wait, what? He killed... Wait, he killed his workers. He's got 43 workers. Oh, lord. Okay, that... Okay, this might work. He should probably snipe these ducks, though. Because he's kind of running through vision of... Uh, vision of purple. Oh lord, he coming! Purple? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh, oh my god, some of his units went through and now they're stuck. What the fuck? Uh-oh. 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 One goes down. Gremlin is repaired. Oh, no. Oh, no. Destruction from the west and destruction from the north. Or east, I guess. Oh, uh, dude, he's dead. He is dead. D-E-D. -E you guys remember that meme from StarCraft? D-E-D. -E -D, dead. Mongols going for wonder? Yeah. Wonder to survive. Second landmark about to go down. And brother, oh, that's a lot of strels here. You she should charge here. Charge there. No, no, no. Charge the strels. You dent them in a little bit. Oh no! What are you doing? Yellow. Put him right here. Oh, he's but the next wave is already on the way. And purple, he is not the kind of girl to repair the landmarks. She says, uh-uh. I ain't repairing that shit. What's that? I lost three landmarks? Oh, wait, he is. Okay, never mind. My bad. Now, let's check the resources. So, obviously, yellow had enough almost for a wonder. But he decided to delete his villagers. And uh, attempt a fire lancer snipe, which I don't think is gonna happen. This is way too many stealthy. Like, he is getting absolutely dented. This is 59 stealthy here. That ain't gonna work at all. Whatsoever. No, at all. No. HRE, he can. But is he gonna? You know what I mean? He could, but will he? <sighs> Let's check on this poor soul over here. He's, <laughs> he's got 7,000 stone. Where's he going, by the way? Shit. Oh shit, this landmark's dead. Uh-oh. Wait, he only has one landmark. Where are you running your landmark? He's trying to hide it, obviously, right? So if he gets spotted, he doesn't get eliminated. But he needs to repair this TC, I think. He still doesn't have this, which I would imagine he would want to get, you know, to, to, to snipe the landmarks. And now, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. But, dude... The docks are are revealing his ass. He just saw him because of the docks. I mentioned earlier he should have sniped the docks because now purple saw him. So now he's just going to reposition. Also, when this is packed, it doesn't give stone, right? What if Mongol goes for wonder and wins in the end? I'll owe him an apology. I will. Here we go. Okay, splitting up his Fire Lancers. He's attacking over here. He's gonna snipe that Gremlin. Strelts are coming. But he's the, doing the one to nut punch right now. Go, go, go. Dude, Mongol's doing it, I'm telling you. He's gonna win this game. The W is coming. And I think the Wonder is also coming. Oh, the orange is waiting. Look at him. Look at him, he's a little sneaky little snake. Uh-oh. TC is repaired, okay. Purple resources? I mean, he's got a shit ton. Resources aren't the problem. By the way, just a just a tip, guys. Okay, this is why you go for Spaskaya Tower in FFA's Rus. 
If there's a China in the lobby, you have to go for fucking Spiskari Tower, or this happens. There, like, it only takes a few seconds for him to get sniped and, and deleted. Okay. Orange walling off his landmark so he can get Fire Lancer sniped. See, that's a five head. And I'm assuming he's gonna make a wonder here. But I don't know if this wall was from earlier. Not sure what's happening. Now he's gonna start burning his houses. And purple is just steering left and right. Let's check. Yellow, still on 52. He's got some relics. He's burning the houses. What? What? Okay. This guy is about to have as many wonders as landmarks. And that's usually not a good look. You know, you might be thinking, well, I'm getting dented. I might as well put down a wonder. You know what I mean? Maybe I win, coping. And the thing is, right? This, I mean, this is copium, right? But the thing is, he does have a thick army. But if there's like three mangonels that come out, he is going to get absolutely fucking up. Oh. <sighs> He's going to get absolutely obliterated. And I would love if green repaired his landmarks at least one of them obviously these two are kind of out but this tc just repair it man you need it dude he's he's rebuilding guys what is his supply dude he's doing it he's got 99 workers but 24 units what units do you have what what units do you have? Where are your units? He's got six archers, seven archers. What? Why are you even making archers? Feudal archers, by the way. I wanna, I wanna remind you that feudal arch. Okay, he's gonna lose everything here. Yeah, everything is going down. Guys, if you got kids, you know, if you're a wife, girlfriend, boyfriend husband is watching don't let them this i have a feeling he's about to land the thickest mango shots on top of strelzi just a feeling i got a feeling this is worse than the YouTube shaving video. <laughs> here we go. The ice cream over here is ready. We're ready to take the beating. Fire Lancers are killing everything. Guys, 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 guys. Gremlins are coming. 60 gremlins are coming. Oh god. Oh my god. It's a destruction. It's... Oh my god. It's a destruction. The fire lancers are coming now as well. The gremlins are popped. And he might be able to... Yo, yo, yo. Fire lancers. What the fuck, man? Yo, fire lancers. Chill, man. He's repairing the landmark. He's repairing it. He's going in. I've seen this one before. Yo, he destroys his own walls to get on that. 
The mangoes, and he holds. He holds. He, I mean, listen, he holds, but, you know, does he hold? Yo, kill that, kill that. He should just mow down everything now. Oh, but he might be scared for Fire Lancers, but I don't think Fire Lancers are close, yeah. El Nosabe. He does not have gold, by the way. He's got 200 GPM. That is no enough. That is not enough. Wonder Tracker. 12 minutes. And that's like... 12 minutes in this situation is like eternity. I, I guarantee you he's staring at that clock right now and that thing is not moving at all. Mongo. Yo. Dude, he can make a wonder suit. He is almost at the wonder. Guys, if he wins, I'm gonna gift some bands in the chat. I'm gonna gift 50 perma bands in the chat. How about that? That's the least I can do. 50 free permas. Sign me up. No, no, no sign ups. It will be random, guys. I can't pick favorites, okay? I can't pick like the biggest dents in the chat of perma banner. It's gonna be random. It is what it is. You know, some sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. For free, that's right. Even subs get banned. If you're a sub, you got twice uh, the chance to get perma. So, you know, I gotta. I mean, listen, people who subscribe, uh, you know, they they support me and and they help me you know, keep streaming and stream full time, right? So I gotta give something back to the community, you know? So you're gonna get twice the chance to get permit. That's the least I can do. Mango nose. This time? Uh-uh. Okay, well, never mind. Dude, what if purple wins with wonder? Check W. Guys, I'm gonna call it right now. Green wins this. He's getting all the resources, including stone. He's got six and a half thousand stone. Okay. He's got improved wheelbarrow. He's maybe got other... Dude, he's got improved trade thing. I don't know what's it called. Improved trade thing. That's the name of it. Resources. Orange has enough for wonder. Okay. Orange has enough for wonder. Yellow has enough for wonder if he actually uh, had wood. Yo, he's gonna go for sacred side W. But it's too late. He needs to kill the... Okay, yellow has all three sacred sides. Right? But... They need to kill the wonder. I don't know if anyone is paying attention in game, but uh, Green had 3,000 score, and now he has 9,500. 9,5,000. Why did we spam Perma says Lamet in the chat? Is it Lamet or Yemen? Lamet, I want to congratulate you. You are the first winner. Of the giveaway. Lamet, you're the first winner of the giveaway. Kratz, mm -hmm. he just came back. He doesn't know what we talked about, but you're the first winner. Uh, why? It, it's randomized. It's randomized. Yeah, you, you win the giveaway. So, congrats. And uh, purple is gone. Purple is gone. And orange is now building a wonder. Now... Can they stop him? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yellow's got sacred sites. If he can hold them. What is the sacred site victory? Let's check. Sacred site victory? Three out of three. Okay. He does have three out of three. 
We checked the sacred tracker, three out of three. So, confirmed. That's right. How many minutes? Three out of three. That's right. Are you sure? Yes, yes. The, the overlay says so and the overlay never lies. I mean, the thing is, yellow doesn't really have like actual setup to hold this. Like, what does he have? He's got 148 units, but he can snipe that. Oh no. Oh, dude. What are the chances? What are the chances I look here and he puts a stone wall? Sacred Sand has to be like 115, right? Oh, yo, Chinese keeps are coming. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's gonna decap this side. Chinese, three Chinese keeps are coming. Wait, can he hold this? He's gonna stonewall this one. I like that. But he needs to kill the men-at-arms here. And that's a lot of men-at-arms. Yo, hold up. Casper now looking like a contender. To snack. Okay, he needs to just just run around, brother. Just run around until the reinforce. Where's the villager? Okay, the villagers are coming. The villagers are coming. What if he forces Orange to delete the wonder? What if Green comes out and says, "Hey, you fucking cuck, delete the wonder," or I'm, or I'm gonna make a unit. You know what I mean? The Chinese keeps are coming. Two more Chinese keeps are coming right here. Oh god, these villagers are gonna wall themselves in. Pepe, that's a Pepe Dent villagers right there. What is this Pepe Dent wall? Alright. He is up and running. And is Orange gonna delete his wonder? He needs green maybe to assist him. Or does he? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. More keeps here on this side. Where are the villagers? These guys are stuck. Literally stuck. If he actually... I don't know if he has production, but if he actually switched to like mass... Oh, he's making crossbows, bro. Why crossbows make hand cannoneers? If he switches to mass hand cannoneers, he could actually hold this. Is it? He's not making a keep anymore. Wait, what? Oh no. Wait, he's not. He doesn't see green as a threat. And green. He is evacuating. Look at him. Town center. Green's playing his own game. He's like. He, th he thinks he entered Sim City or something. Is he going to landmark snipe yellow? Yo, there's no way orange breaks this. Green resources. Green can make a wonder. Oh no. Is he going to decap this one? Oh. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't think the villagers are going to win that. That's a lot of keeps, guys. I'm not going to lie. But. Guys. Hold me. Green should tell Orange to delete the wonder. Because if he kills yellow, Orange just wins automatically. When it was a 10-15? Or 
Oh no. Can he make any landmarks? Yo, he can make Great Wall Gatehouse! He can make Great Wall Gatehouse. And he, I feel like if he makes it, there's no way he loses the middle. But is he gonna realize? Is he gonna... Does he see? He does not see El No Sabe. Okay, let's see. He's looking. Okay. You just make Great Wall Gatehouse and you're chilling. Great Wall. Yo, he made it! Okay. Now this is what you need. You need to focus everything here, hide villagers in your main base. The moment your shit gets sniped, you need to go back and repair a landmark immediately. Like you need to go back and repair the landmark back up. That's a lot of knights. But can he dent them in? Oof, that's not a lot of Oh wait, that's 45 crossbows. Okay, never mind. I did not see that there's that many. What the fuck? 45 crossbows. I don't think orange wins there. No way, right? The landmarks are getting sniped. I, I don't know. Did he get decapped at any point? I don't think he did, right? I don't know if this got decapped earlier. But I don't think so. The landmarks are going down. The green is denting him in. Them rams are fucking mowing down everything. Oh no. I don't know if he's remake. He's out of gold. He's out of juice. He is out of juice right now. And he's not gonna die to uh, landmark snipe. But he will get decapped right here. God damn, brother! These two Scots have been chilling here. I think it's legit a minute to go, by the way. I don't know if you heard the ding, ding, ding. But it's around 115 or 116. Damn, that boiling oil, useless as ever. Damn. Mm -hmm. Green is mowing him down. But the wonder tracker seven minutes and guys as much as i love a good comeback yo he's he's look at him he's busting through but the decap has happened and this is where i mean the thing is he just destroyed yellow base but this is where you gotta be like yo yo yellow yellow I'll stop attacking you, but instead he's just mowing him down. He should be like, yo, let's go. Let's go kill Orange. Look at the resources. Elite Keshiks are ca now coming. Elito. Elito late. Is Green actually gonna win? Well, there's a wonder here, and it's six minutes to go. This is the price for no faith in Green. I mean, to be honest, he he the, the, like the chances of him sniping this wonder is if Orange disconnects. Like, how's he gonna how's he gonna snipe that? Yeah, Orange is now pulling all the units back. He's right clicked or clicked to go to the left, but the Rams are going all the way around. And now he's like, oh shit. 
Dude, it'd be so cool if rams could attack units. Imagine if you can attack this and just, like, throw it into the water or something. Like Godzilla. Oh no, he right, he clicked to the other side and they're going all the way around. Guys, it's a distraction. What's green vision? I mean, he he's never seen uh, orange base. Dude, these rams are... He's waiting. He's lurking. Dude, I would just go kill yellow. I mean, game's over, you know? Just kill yellow. It's like a... Fuck you. Jumbi. Yellow's kind of trying. I mean, he's got... He's got one ram. But he's kind of trying, you know, but... Oh, no. Are you stuck, Step Rams? Unlucky, brother. Yo, snipe, snipe yellow. I think the rams here, yeah, I think you just forgot about them. Because <laughs> they're just sitting there. They're not moving, they're just sitting. And with that one, the I mean, the Kashyyyks are coming, but... You know what I mean? Time is running now. Mm -hmm. Now, I asked this Kanki trolling, Kanki trolling, apparently people in the Twitch chat said this is how he plays, he tries to landmark snipe, maybe if he had a better spawn, not necessarily better spawn, maybe he, if he was like further away from someone, so he can have the freedoms to do landmark sniping, got top Three in the end, top two, whatever you want to call it. They are breaching through. But it ain't gonna be enough, brother. Not today. He attacked yellow way too long. Um, I mean, he kind of had to, right? Like, one thing you gotta consider is when you're playing FFA, you don't know, like, he didn't know what's happening on the middle. You know what I mean? And GT Gamer. Gets the W with the Holy Roman Empire. Let's check the uh, the economy. The most stoned by the Mongol gamer. I mean, he's had trade and stupa. And those give a lot. Fire hick, zero stone. Destruction. The most gold, the most wood for the winner. Units killed. This was actually the lowest unit kill game I think we've had. The... Second place, or not even second, what, what place did he get? Fourth place got the most kills. <laughs> he <hit> fourth. <laughs> he got, he got top three. And he got 14 units killed. Uh, that's funny. If this was a MOBA, you would get a permaban for feeding. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the lowest kill games I think we've ever had. Like a lot, 7,501, 14, 63. And to be honest, Blue fought, right? He tried, just not a lot of units killed. And then we got fourth place has 1,012 units killed. We got GT Gamer with 817, the winner. We got Casper with 651. And we got Kanki with... 14 kick doubling that was a game ggs grats to the winner 
Kenki said he had one frame per second for the last 30 minutes. Unlucky, brother. Unlucky. You gotta update your toaster. That helps a lot. The next map that we're doing, not today, but the next map that we're doing will be Oasis. Let me just give you a little preview. Let me just give you a little taste of the map. When all these free-for-alls are done, we are going to be doing the championship round. And if you're wondering what that is, we're going to do eight weeks of free-for-alls followed up by the grand finals where we're going to have eight winners from Gold League face off one another. Eight winners of all the Platinum Weeks face off against one another. Eight winners of Diamond and eight winners of Conquer. And then I'm going to try to organize a top pro Conquer three lobbies as well for the same things. But let me show you what we're going to do. Some of you have played this map. It was very short. That it was it even on the ladder or was it in a tournament that I played? I actually can't remember. I think it was on the ladder, right? Guys, this is the next map we're doing. What am I expecting out of this? Clown Fiesta. I am expecting all eight players to be chopping to the middle to get access to the docks. I'm expecting sacred side W's from the opponents. I'm expecting there to be a dent who's like, you know what? I'm not going to chop through the middle. And then he goes five TCs and dies or survives. But I'm expecting a lot of clowning. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Check me out on Twitch. We're probably playing Oasis literally right now. If you're watching on Twitch, let's keep going.